Hi everybody, my name is Taylor Green. I'm one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. Uh, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the other audiologist here at Audiology Associates. So we've got four patients in this compilation video for you today. Loads for you to watch. Um, so <laughs> this first patient is my uh, patient. You can see lots of olive oil in here straight away. Very, very Ooh. soft. But just drawn everything it's forward. It's great nice. when it does that. Sometimes you'll get a little bit of skin that'll attach at the entrance and back into the, the main plug of wax as well. Just drawn everything out there. It's always nice when that comes out. But very, very thick plug uh, sitting in that ear canal. Let's take a look beyond. Yeah. Look how easy that was. Yeah. Bish, bash, bosh. Done. They were I wish everyone ones. was like that. Be handy, I wish it? everyone was like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really nice easy one to start with. I don't know if the second ear canal is the same. But we've got a similar looking, uh, looking canal there. Lots and lots of olive oil going yeah, in this one as well. Them. Uh, so we've got a standard size ulna tube on here, so if you don't know, there's two different size tubes that we use. Standard size ulna tube, fine end's the other one. One's much, much thinner, it's about a millimetre across the fine end. Uh, standard size ulna tube, I've got, I've got a funny feeling, it's three, three mil, four mil, something like yeah. that, I think it is. Um, but you get a much better grip with a thicker, wider yeah. tube, I should say, not thicker tube. You can see the olive oil's coating the camera there a little yeah. bit. That's the only downside of olive oil when using an endoscope, you get a lot of... Uh, you get it from the cilia, it's like yeah. obviously the, the hair in the ear, um, the oil sometimes sticks to it and you try to avoid it, but some people's cilia is, is quite long and yeah. the, <laughs> no matter how, it, yeah. Yeah. you just can't get away from it unfortunately. Um, oh, so, a little bit. Yeah, come away, oh. tiny little bits in here, a little bit of dry skin at the bottom, uh, and a little tiny bit of wax here at the top as well, so we're just going to get rid of those. There you go, there's the oh, wax. Fingers away, crossed the skin. Oh, oh look, look at that. that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, eardrum looking nice and healthy on that one. Patient yeah. really pleased to get out. It's looking a lot, lot better in there. Uh, so you've just two little bits there, so a centimetre and a half. Yeah, just over or three three quarters of an inch. Three quarters of an inch. Just under three quarters Pretty of an inch. Much there, yeah. yeah. So I think well. your video's coming up next, you know, for, your, for the next yeah, one. Yeah, we're kind of alternating, I think, on this one. Mine, I think yours, we did. yours yeah. mine, yours, mine. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, it's you can see with this particular patient, we've got not much, but a very, very, very deep uh, cotton buds being in use here. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the usual culprit. Uh, so we're going to go in with the. Oh, what was you going to say? I, I was going to say when it's deep like that, I find almost tends patients complain a lot more about the your know, feeling of fullness and dullness when it's much yeah. much deeper. It tends to cause more problems, doesn't it? Yeah, and some people can feel it there as well yeah. so they might not have much issue with the hearing side of things but they can actually feel like there's yeah. there's something in there it's uh, coming away nicely uh, uh, yeah now the what we always try and do which is pretty much what has happened now is we try to hold the suction mm. onto that plug of wax in a hope that what it'll do is just lift yeah. the whole thing out of the anterior recess so I think we've actually got a standard size tube here just to yeah. get a, a better grip, even though we're quite far into the ear. Yeah. I don't want to risk this coming away in little tiny bits. It's always yeah. a nice, it's, it's always a difficult pull, isn't it? When you're holding yeah. on and you're just sort of using the power of the suction to draw that yeah. down. Yeah, look at that. It's a bit foggy, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all, uh, all the humidity and... Uh, so I think I just popped the suction tube in here yeah. now, yeah, just to clear up some of that moisture. But yeah, looking, looking nice and healthy. A couple of little spots there, but we'll just advise this patient to just uh, continue using some olive oil just to clear those last tiny yeah. little spots away. But there we are, a really impressive uh, <laughs> quarter, a quarter of an inch. So oh, just a half a centimeter. <laughs> I, I, we, we say this all the time, but the tip of the little finger, it's, it, you know, when it's down that deep and it's right on top of the eardrum, God, it's half cause some problems, my dear patients. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this is my patient again now. You can see very different. Now we can see the hole there straight away. So this ear canal is not completely blocked. But this is all skin. Now we talk about that skin migration and coming out the ear canal to the lateral portion, you're yeah. breaking away. Uh, this particular patient suffers a little bit with the skin getting to that outer section, so migrating out really well, but then just not breaking away. So that what you end up with then is it's coming out of the canal and folding down over itself. Uh, almost like a shell in yeah, a way. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. So it, it, it sort of just pees away, like, almost like a, like a sleeve that comes out of the canal uh, of dead skin, really. Not always easy ones to do because it tends to be quite tough. You know, it's quite keratinous this skin. We've got lots of keratin, that protein in here, hardening this up. Um, giving this a little bit of a wiggle here with the, the crocodile forceps. You can see as the skin just disappears further yeah. in as well. Just breaking away. Yeah, yeah. Long strips though can away. And on you tend to find when you suction it, it doesn't look like a lot at the entrance. When you suction it, it sort of almost unfolds and unwraps yeah. itself, yep. doesn't it? 
and it's, especially when it's quite dry like this as well yeah. it, it it's it's still usually always connected yes. at some point in the in the ear canal a yeah. bit deeper in which is why you can see us moving and wiggling around with a suction tube and that's basically what's happening yeah. is it's, it's just holding on for dear life. <laughs> it is. And that suction tube doesn't always have the, the sort of force, the, the grip there to hold on to it, does it? It just doesn't have the power uh, to, to hold on to it. But you'll see sometimes when we pull these pieces out, this very, very thin, like Taylor just said, these pieces attached further in will be much, much thinner. Yeah. Uh, almost like almost like cigarette paper thin pieces coming yeah. out of mind. You normally see us with the suction tubes, with this kind of removal, a lot of the time if there's a little sort of small little like tail of it that's sort of coming out of the ear we'll generally try to grab that little piece yeah. first and you'll generally start to see it slowly crawl into the suction tube yeah. and that gives us a much better grip yep so just switching out now we've got this little layer here just at the entrance now i've gone in with the jobson horn here just because we don't want to run the risk of any clarinetting as well because you've got this tough skin it can clarinet like bilio yeah. I and mean, it's just not you know it's not very comfortable for the patient yeah but you can see that gap we were talking about there but that, that's sort of section around the outside edge here you're looking healthy nice and healthy exactly the same on this side though it's exactly the same problem we've got a bit of uh, wax mixed in with this one so a little yeah. bit more blocked on this side um and that'll be the darker material then sitting above yeah sitting above this uh, obviously, don't forget, guys, if you are having uh, issues with your oh, ears. Right. See, look, uh, halfway through. It's been bringing you on for these ears, too. This is good to be <laughs> If you're having issues with your ears uh, or just generally feeling blocked up, uh, just give us a ring. You can see either you know, myself or, or the, the wonderful uh, Rhys Barber. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Chris. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, um, in our bio, there's a link to the website with all our details on. Uh, give us a call and we'll uh, more than happy see anyone. Yeah, and if you are enjoying the videos, guys, don't forget you can like, share, follow, subscribe, and heart for us. That'd be absolutely fantastic. We love new subscribers, so uh, you can always come along and you'll get to see lovely videos and notifications about these lovely videos every single time myself and Taylor Green post them, which is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm going to say 9 p.m., but we're having terrible problems with some of our videos like Instagram and Facebook at the moment. We just don't want to upload, so uh, whenever they go out. But they'll definitely go out on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. We've got problems with Facebook. Now we've got problems yeah. with Instagram, so I'm like, maybe get the videos up. But this skin is coming away fantastic. You can see what Taylor was saying there, but it disappearing in uh, to the ear canal there, that, that sort of attachment much, much further. I'm still pulling this out. It's only just attached. Uh, but look how that's pulling that next section of skin forwards. Give uh, it a, yeah, give it a little bit of a... It is all yeah. about that motion, isn't it? Just to <laughs> yeah. try and detach it. If you're lucky, it pulls it all out. But if yeah. you're unlucky, like you were there, it just breaks it away at the entrance. Oh, that's a good, uh, good grip on that last bit. Yeah. Oh, you can see where it's still attached, just yeah. past that, uh, yeah. just past the golden sort of skin there. You can see it's still attached to the ear canal there. You know it's going to be tough old skin when it's got that sort of golden appearance as well. Yeah. Don't you? It's got that, yeah. that sort of that, that, that sort of uh, almost honey colour. It, it, you know it's going to be a difficult one to do. Yeah. Switching back now just to get these little loose bits away with the Jobson horn. There we go. And just, Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Just tidy up the edges. Let's take a look beyond. Oh, you can yeah. almost see that sort of ripple effect to the skin yeah. as well. You can see how it's it's really struggled to migrate out. It's yep. almost concertinaed back up. I bunched it all together a little bit there. Just yeah. It was sticking to everything. So I had a bunch <laughs> of choice. Uh, where are we? Uh, two, two, just under two and a half centimetres. Yeah, I'd, oh, I'd, I'd say you again if that was all together about three quarters of an inch yeah probably uh, yeah. if we squish that a little bit on the, on the top there so i think we're down to the last patient in this compilation this is yours oh narrow canal very very, very 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 narrow <laughs> and, and a dark plug of wax in this one so generally quite difficult to do these um you can see i've, I've purposely held the camera here this is my view without pulling the ear so Jeez. there's barely anything i mean this ear canal is almost completely closed up yeah so what we've had to do here is pop the camera in first and we've actually had to hold the ear canal open with the endoscope yeah. now some oil has been used in this case and what can sometimes happen is when we're when we're trying to focus on the wax removal like you, you sometimes f forget about the the, the the camera in a way yeah. and sometimes you start sliding out a little bit yeah. but um we're, we're quite lucky in this case so the wax is actually holding this ear canal open a little bit oh, yeah. 
So we've got the standard size, I think we've got the standard size, no? Oops, um, ooh, it's difficult to tell. For, difficult to tell, actually, here. <laughs> it might be the fine end, actually, this one. Difficult no, to see. No, this is definitely the fine end, sorry. Yeah, yeah this is the fine end. Um, again, just purely how narrow this ear canal is. So I've swapped to the, the, the crocodile forceps here. Uh, just hoping again, opening up the ear canal. God, just like a pair of pliers. God, in, that, in that consideration of the size of the canal, they're huge. And the the crocodile forceps are actually really, really small and tiny. <laughs> There's barely anything to them. So I'm trying to get a good grip on this plug. You can see I'm just slightly sort of. Anytime I'm trying to grip it, it's pushing it in a little bit. Yeah. I don't want that to happen. I'm trying to. Uh, it's not easy with that. That canal's collapsed over the entrance. Yeah. You can see the jobs in the hole. You can't even put it in in its correct orientation. You've got to kind of put it in sideways and then twisting over. Yeah. That is so narrow. It's difficult when the plug's hardened like this one has yeah. because you, you've got to get it through that narrow gap. We're, we're lucky in this case that I don't think there was actually much behind this little plug. So you could see that gap there already. So I'm just trying to nip the jobs and for uh, jobs and forceps. <laughs> Jobs and forceps? Jobs and hold. Oh, yeah. like, uh, you uh, it? I haven't had lunch yet. <laughs> I'm not thinking straight. Uh, just the jobs and home. We've just nipped behind. Just pop this bit of wax out here. Struggle to grip onto it, actually. Taking a good look behind. And there we are. Oh, we, were, so we were lucky so in this. Yeah, we were lucky that. in this case that there was nothing else behind this, this plug. Uh, yeah, came out nice and easy for us. And I think we've got a very similar, not as much, yeah. but a very similar... Similar case here on this side. Plenty of room here now to pop the jobs and horn yeah. straight in. So again, going in from the side, because we've got quite the narrow entrance on this side as well. And I'm just gently trying to get some leverage behind that little plug. You can see it all starting to come away nicely. The jobs and horn looks huge in comparison to that entrance to the canal mind. It, it looks absolutely massive. This can usually happen with age as well. I mean, this is uh, the cartilage of the ear can sometimes soften and get yeah. um, uh, and, and almost kind of start relaxing and, and yeah. starts closing up the ear canal. Um, or this could just purely be the anatomy of this particular mm. patient's ear. Um, you can naturally get some really, really narrow ear canals. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I hope that's come. I mean, that looked dry even when you were rolling it into the, the, the sort of concha and the bowl of the ear. You could see that really, really oh, yeah, see, I thought we were clear right. then, but you could see as I just pushed across, there was a little tiny bit left. I think we pop in with a suction for this bit, yeah. the fine end. I'd be fine, yeah, I think we'd fine end that normally, wouldn't we? Yeah, there, there we go. It is. But even the fine end looks like a standard size <laughs> zombie like tube in there, isn't it? It's <laughs> huge. There we go, pulling across just to try and loosen this off the side of the ear canal, coming away really nicely. I was really, really glad actually, because these ones can sometimes be really, really tricky to do. I'm yeah. losing my voice now, sorry. <coughs> really, really tricky to do. Looking nice and healthy afterwards yeah. though. This is the, uh, yeah. the, the eardrums looking nice and clear. <laughs> <laughs> they look tiny compared do, to what was, uh, it's probably two, what was on the screen. What were you gonna say with that one? Two centimeters, I reckon, or just under? Yeah, uh, uh, same again, I'm just under three quarters of an inch, by the mm. looks of it, yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching our video again today. Uh, if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to like, share, follow, heart, subscribe, all those things. If you have problems with your ears, you can always contact us. Link to our website's on the bio page with our contact details on as well. Uh, so check that one out with us. But as always, take care of yourselves. Take care of your ears. And take care of one another. And myself and Taylor will see you again real soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.